Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about some awesome new concept art and discarded ideas surrounding Camp Cretaceous. Recently, some of the behind the scenes material for the series has come out and I think that a lot of it is really interesting stuff for Jurassic fans. <laughs> Bumpy was, I guess, Zach, you had Bumpy as an ankylosaurus, didn't you, earlier? No, that days? was you guys. Bumpy was originally a myosaurus. Bumpy was originally a myosaurus, and uh, that was uh, I, I, all credit to you guys for, uh, you know, having a, a ankylosaurus uh, um, instead, which uh, gets to, as as you as you pointed out, uh, slot into the uh, um, Indominus Massacre. Right, which is probably why we ended up doing that, because we'd always had the idea of, well, wouldn't it be interesting if that was the, the herd that mm -hmm. was involved? So originally, very early on in development of Camp Cretaceous, it turns out that Bumpy would have actually been a baby Myasaura rather than the Ankylosaurus that she ended up as. For those of you who don't know, Myasaurs are uniquely important to Jurassic Park because they were actually a part of the original 15 species that Michael Crichton wrote down as having existed in his first novel. They later on appeared in concept art that ultimately went unused in the Lost World, and of course you can find them in Jurassic World Evolution as well. Now, as far as Camp Cretaceous goes, the concept art for Myasaurs on Isla Nublar at this early stage in development is actually really, really cool, and it comes directly from Sean Michael Keenan's Instagram account, which I will of course link to in the description down below. Of course, we've already heard that the reason Bumpy was changed to an Anki later on in development had to do with the opportunity that this would present to the writers for slotting the baby dinosaur into the IREX massacre that we saw go down in Jurassic World. However, it wouldn't have been the only baby dinosaur that got cut early on. Oddly enough, baby versions of the Pachycephalosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Styracosaurus, and Protoceratops were also depicted in this concept art during pre-production. The latter two being extra interesting because it would have been our first time seeing them in the film universe. As for the carnivorous dinosaurs, it actually gets even more interesting, believe it or not. Baby Ceratosaurs, Cryolophosaurs, and even a fully feathered Eutyrannus were conceptualized at one stage as well. Now, the Eutyrannus in particular I find to be the coolest, but that could just be because it's actually one of my favorite dinosaurs. And seeing it appear in a Jurassic World story would have been personally really unexpected and fun for me. That being said, I know that Colin Trevorrow has commented on how Dominion is supposed to be the movie where more paleontologically accurate animals will be coming out from the other companies like Biosyn, so I guess leaving something like the Utyrannus behind at this stage would make sense for the overall film narrative. Cryolophosaurus, on the other hand, is a dinosaur that I actually speculated on appearing in Camp Cretaceous quite a bit before the show came out, and even though it didn't make an appearance, it now looks like I wasn't 100% wrong on it being in the cards after all. So apart from all of those cut dinosaurs, there actually was a lot of different designs and color choices that this concept artist did for Bumpy, as well as a curiously unseen baby Carnotaurus and Pachycephalosaurus. These two dinosaurs underwent a lot of different changes, but neither of which showed up, so it leaves me wondering what the plans were, if there even were any, for these guys in the Camp Cretaceous narrative during conceptualization. It's entirely possible that this was just something done early on to get a feel for the show, but there's just so much stuff here that could easily be repurposed for a future season that I think there may actually be something cool to come out of it someday. If not in an episode, then perhaps something else. Anyways guys, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on this stuff. What do you think about this early concept art for Camp Cretaceous? And how different do you think the show would have been if Bumpy was a Myasaura instead of an Ankylosaurus? Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.